not just about the Norsemen, not just about the Vikings. Um, Lindus Farm kind of predates that period um, back to quite an early time w w with a very, very holy man called St Cuthbert. Welcome to the A Midlife Traveler podcast, where we want you to go see the world, discover interesting stories about people, places, and practical advice to help you plan your next vacation. Hey, let's go see the world. Hey everyone, hello. It's Laura from the A Midlife Traveler podcast, and we have a great episode for you today that's a follow-on episode about Vikings. But before we get into that, I just want to drop a quick note to let you know that if you found these episodes interesting about Vikings or this one today about Lindisfarne, that you can explore this place and these stories for yourself if you're ever over in the uh, UK region. We explored this through a day tour. It was a day tour that went in, in and out of Edinburgh called the Viking Coast and Alnwick Castle Tour. It was a small group tour with, I think there were about 10 people that were on the tour. And it was a really great day. We were able to drive through the Northumberland region from Scotland into the border area, learn about that history, go into Lindisfarne that you're going to hear more about today and also learn more about the Viking history as we drove down the coast to an interesting, beautiful castle called Alnwick Castle. Alm yeah, means in Old Gaelic for bay, and Wick is Vic for Viking, so it's a castle that historically the significance of the name means Bay of the Vikings. And that castle was just really, really cool to visit. It was famous for uh, inspiring Hogwarts for Harry Potter. They have a whole bunch of really cool medieval activities and castle stuff, and kids are running around in their Harry Potter robes, attending broomstick classes, and you know, costumed characters are roaming the castle grounds and doing shows, and it just has a really, really cool vibe to it, and it's a beautiful location. It also, I believe, Alnwick Castle, also was partly filmed with Downton Abbey and also I think a Robin Hood Men and Thieves movie and a couple of other movies as well. It's a really cool spot. So if you're interested in this tour, this uh, Viking Coast and Alnwick Castle, it's a single day tour, a quick in and out of Edinburgh, please go to our website at amidlifetraveler.com. Look for episode 15 and the keywords will be Viking Coast and Lindisfarne. And uh, we'll give you full links to that tour. And then actually Viking tours are pretty cool. So we may put some extra links in there too, to other Viking tours. And maybe we'll share some photos of Lindisfarne so you can see how beautiful it is for yourself. That's it. Moving on. Here's James talking about Lindisfarne. Enjoy. Not just about the Norsemen, not just about the Vikings. Um, Lindus Farm kind of predates that period um, back to quite an early time w w with a very, very holy man called St Cuthbert. And St Cuthbert kind of used Lindus Farm or wanted the monastery abbey on Lindus Farm because it was cut off from everything else. It would be less distracting for the young monks, less distracting for him. Um, and he would record a period of time that really would have been forgotten without him where we see most of Eastern Europe changing its, its religion from paganism into Christianity, almost a, a, an enlightenment at that point in time. So St Cuthbert captures this in his writings and it sort of explains the, the feelings of, of the country at that time. But then we fast forward to 695 and we see the Lindisfarne Gospels and this is where the young monks, such as men like Athelstane, have have the works of St Cuthbert and they're documenting them and they're writing them in different languages they're, they're, they're preserving this information but in such beauty, in such writing it, it, the, the, the colourations that they're using to do to, to write one sheet, one page of information could take a year because it was, it was so prettily drawn and, and, and coloured and very artistic and uh, but St Cuthbert he 
he, he even felt he was too distracted on, on this island, so he would, not that far over here, there's another island, he would move on to this island just for even more solitude, um, to spend more time on his own. So he was here, but there's also another island just, just that he, he would build a home on and live there as well. When we walk up and round, we'll, we'll see it. So thanks for listening to the Midlife Traveler podcast. We are exploring travel destinations through voices of locals who live there and travelers who have been there. If you're looking for any of the resources that were mentioned in today's episode, please go online to our website at amidlifetraveler.com. Also, we'd really appreciate it if you subscribe, rate, and review us online at iTunes and uh, just send us a note. Tell us what you think about the podcast. We would really appreciate it. Thanks.